brother my pastor and first lady co pastor. Amen. Everybody in the respective places. Can I speak a lot of Yeah. I got to loosen up a little bit, man. Yeah. Yeah. I really used to, you know, especially being up here by my podium. I just stay in the back by the drums, and do a couple plays or something. But uh, but yeah, this uh, holiness. I came here probably about was it about two years ago. Holy, holy band, holy, holy band. Holy man, I apologize. That's all right. That's holy. That's holy. I'll tell you that. It's holy. It's holy. It's holy. Every bit of justice for me. Jesus. I came here about two years ago. I was going through a real tough thing for me. It might be tough for everybody else, but for me it was pretty tough. I went to a school. I, I'm, I play college football now down at Workers. Thank you. Um, and when I, when I first went to college, I went to a school out of Kentucky, you know, that's where I was about the only school that really taught me, well, the first school that taught me, and then I just stuck with them. Uh -huh. And I went out there, God really had a couple plans out there for me. One of them that wasn't too favorable for me, but it helped me in the long run. Uh -huh. And that's really the biggest thing that, that this ministry helped me on. I remember a semester before it actually started happening. I was talking to a couple of guys on the team, and they were talking about um, having a heartbroken in high school and stuff like that. You know, and I was me. I was, I was like, man, that ain't never happened to me. I, you know, I'm good. I don't, I don't get caught up like that. I'm, I'm all right. I met a young lady that same semester. Come on, man. And, and I ain't going to sit up here and say she did this and she did that. Oh, we did just about, you know, to each other, just about the same thing. But it wasn't as, I didn't do the mental stuff she did to me. I didn't do. I, I mean, I said some stuff that definitely would have hurt her because I said it to her. I ain't going to come up here and act like I did. All right. But uh, I'm talking about every week, every week. I couldn't go through not one week without Coach Collin getting out of the office. What happened this weekend? Who you fought this weekend? Why this girl posting this about you? Why she slaying this about you? Who she sleeping with this week? I, I'm talking about, and I, I apologize if there's some young people here, but I'm going right. to keep right. going But uh, yeah, she was just, I mean, Mark, she was talking to the quarterback. Probably messing with the quarterback. I ain't even going to play. And he was going to coach, telling coach I had a problem with him. I ain't know nothing about it. I thought we was fine. So I got I got to deal with that. I'm losing weight. You see, I'm a big fella. I was good. I was good. One of them. I was good. I could. I, I, if y'all would have seen a picture of me back then, y'all probably thought I was on something. Like I was good. And I'm talking. I'm just stressed out to the team. My mama don't know nothing. She came up there. I think during the middle of the season, and my friends ended up telling her about it. And she just don't know what to do because she never seen her son. You know, take it through something like that. I mean, she just, the girl just, it's like she did everything she could to fluster her. You know, yeah, she just, she tried to break me. She really did. And um, make a, they, they kind of wrap up that. Towards, that was my sophomore year in college. So I went through that whole season. I came home, I came home that Christmas break. Came here, and my mama told uh, the pastor and, uh, about everything that happened, and they sat and prayed with me, and they prayed that they would break everything this girl, every hold she had on. And at the time, I definitely needed that, as you as you can tell. But when I got back to school, it was tough to stay away from. Cause it was, you know, how it is being young. It just, it's hard to stay away. It's hard to stay away from it. And um, I would go back in. And I was really just, it was just for. We don't leave it like that. And, uh, and um, it just, I, it never was the same. Cause I could feel God was changing stuff, but the relationship was never the same. I, I used to tell her, and I didn't know why I used to tell her. I used to tell her all the time, and she was like, "Why do you, why you don't really want to be with me for real?" I said, "Listen." 
I'm not gonna be alone. This is before I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm getting in trouble, but I feel like at the, but at the same time, I never knew that I was gonna get, you know, I was gonna leave the school. But I used to tell all the time, man, I'm about to leave this school. I ain't gonna be here. I ain't graduating here. This this ain't what God got. I just and I used to say it not knowing. And looking back on it, God was just speaking to me through me. And um, so it get towards the end of the semester. I'd have been in a handful of trouble fights. We all type of stuff, just dumb stuff. Just being around dumb stuff, being with my friends. I ain't gonna say the wrong crowd, them is my boys. We just used to get in the wrong stuff. Drinking, fighting, all type of stuff. And I remember coach told me back before we left, he said, you get one more thing, you're gone. And I stayed clear, everybody, everything. Last couple days before we left, a guy came to me in my room, I with my friends. They celebrate my birthday before I leave a week early. And um, he come in there, and he's one of them guys that was on the team. He ain't on the team no more. He like to bother everybody on the team. So he come in there bother with us, and I snapped him. And, and when I and if if you if you know what my room looks like, which y'all don't, when you walk out the door, the camera is literally right here. So you can see everything that's going on once I walk out the door. And I'm right here in the door, and I'm going off on him because I I just. I can't take, you've been bothering us so much, I just can't take it. So I snap on him. Monday come, coach called me to his office. He had already talked to my mama and he said, keep him out of let you go. And everything, every, everything that I thought going to college about people, you know, not, not leaving and not getting kicked out because I don't want nobody to think I'm a failure. All that ran through my head and I just started crying. I'm like, I done let everybody down. But I knew, even, I, even though I was in the wrong for saying what I said, I knew that he was provoking me. So I figured, okay, coach, if you understood the situation, he, he came to us, bothered us, and I just couldn't take it no more. And he said, and he, and he know me, and he know my mama, he know my mama a woman of God, and he know that I'm not just gonna sit up here in your face and just tell you a bald face. So he go back and talk to some people and they were like, he came back to me on a Wednesday, the day before I left. No, no two days before I left. He said, listen, we, got, we wrote up a contract for you. If you follow these rules, which is like a GPA rule, don't get in no trouble. You know, it's just simple stuff that I should have been doing anyway. Yeah. And uh, he said, I'm going to let you back on the team. Hey. No, 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 no. I don't want y'all to start clapping because y'all ain't even really got with that, that ain't even when he started yet. This ain't even when he started yet. So he wrote the contract up. He said, you take it home. The next day he called me, he said, as a matter of fact, I got a friend down in Florida that got a school. I'm going to call him and see what he can do. But if you don't want to go there, or even if you do want to go there, if you go there and you don't like it, you can come back. If you don't want to go out there, you can still come back. It don't matter what you, it's whatever you want to do. I think I just got kicked off the team two days ago. Hey, and I meet this man, <laughs> and Coach Scott, which is the coach I, I'm under now, the best man for a coach I ever had in my life. I'm talking about he just set me up for everything. I mean, he talk. I I I go in there and say, hey, we'll sit in there and talk for three hours. He won't go home till ten o'clock, and don't got no problem with it. And uh, well, it's just been a blessing. I mean, I I ain't had no type of problems. I ain't never been in trouble at the school. I ain't dealing with no girls, y'all can forget all that. <laughs> and y'all know we, we, had a, we got a Christian school at our church. Yep. And <laughs> this man behind me kind of threw me off about two weeks ago. He told me he wanted me to run the school. All right. All right. football team at day school in Gainesville and the man want me to run their program. <laughs>
same boy two, three years ago was huh. fighting people every weekend. Right. Thank you, God. Just anything that I just didn't care. I just didn't care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I still, I don't want y'all to think because I'm up here and I'm saying, I still got a ways to go. When I look back where I come. Come on. I can't do nothing but be happy because I know that whole situation that I was in, it wasn't that he was taking me through something to take. He was getting me out of there. People say he testing you. He wasn't testing me. It wasn't for me to, press, to prevail through that situation. It was for me to get out of that situation. And he put me right in the best position he ever. Thank you.